Hi everybody, um, in this video I want to give my thoughts about the MGTOW movement. Answering the question, what is MGTOW? What our views should be towards MGTOW, whether MGTOW is right or wrong? My opinions, okay, on the MGTOW movement. Now, my opinion uh, in regards to what MGTOW is, MGTOW, as far as I can see it, is a movement that says uh, that men are going their own way. So they're not going to get traditionally involved in relationships. They are not going to follow societies tapped on getting involved in male-female relationships. Um, and they're not going to accept gynocentrism as it runs rampant through the society we live in today. So basically, a lot of people have a problem with MGTOW. They see MGTOW as crybabies and whiners that go on and on about female nature and hating women. Um, I don't honestly believe that um, MGTOW in its main philosophy is something that hates some women. I do understand that there's lots of MGTOW videos and there's MGTOW comment people that give the view of hating women. Now, I think part of that is, is the reason what we call a red pill rage. Now, what the red pill rage, from my understanding, is is when a man has accepted the gynocentric view of women, that women are to be looked after, protected, women are to be served by men, a man is inadequate if he doesn't have a girlfriend or a wife, and um, a man is the sort of the workhorse and a woman benefits from his labour. When a man realises that he's been duped into believing that, into believing that that's the way it should have been, he flies into what we call a red pill rage. So basically, he gets very, very angry at the fact that he's been lied to about how things should be. So, for instance, he may have been a man that's been involved maybe in a 10-year marriage, been divorced, not because he's uh, had an affair or because he's beaten his wife or sexually assaulted her or anything like that, but simply because his wife got fed up and said, I don't want to be with you anymore, taken half of his stuff. And the man then is told by the MGTOW community that this this shouldn't have happened to you, it didn't need to happen to you, you didn't have to get involved with somebody who didn't love you uh, in the first place, you would have been quite okay being single your whole life. And as a result of having known he's wasted his life on a woman that didn't love him and he could have been single instead his whole life, he flies into what we call a red pill rage. The, the sort of overwhelming anger at that, that his life's been wasted Okay, and I do understand that women's lives can be wasted on men as well. I'm not saying that this is that's exclusively for men, okay? But I'm just describing to you what the red pill rage is. That a lot of these men who turn MGTOW are men that have been divorced or had relationships that have fallen apart, perhaps through no fault of their own. Maybe it is a fault of their own, but they don't realise it. Um, but it's often that they're then they're having to pay huge amounts of money in child support and alimony and having to pay money back for money that, the, that him and his wife have spent in the marriage, but he's having to pay it all back. Then that, that puts a man into a red pill raid. Society is saying, well, that's what you should do. That's how it is and that's the right thing. But the man knows it's not right. So he gets into a red pill raid. He gets angry about it. So, of course, if somebody's in one of these red pill wages, and goes onto the internet, he's obviously going to say some things that are not very nice about women and about society, about other men, and it's not very good. I think if a man does have a red pill rage, I don't think it's wise for him to take to the internet and go on about it. Now, that doesn't mean that MGTOW shouldn't make videos about how men get cheated in life. And that's all very good. I'm not talking about the criticism against women in society. I'm talking about the all-out abuse, calling women CUNTs, all this sort of stuff, sluts and whores, is not helpful, it's not nice, it's not good. And it's not true, not all women are, are whores, right? There obviously are some that are, there's some women who are not very nice people, um, and that's not very good. But I think one of the things that causes a red pill rage is this fact that society seems to drum up the belief that men are completely unrighteous and um, abominable, but women are completely righteous 
and don't do anything wrong. And if a woman does do something wrong, it's always a man's fault. You see, and I think that's one of the things that fuels the, the MGTOW movement, is that belief. That society seems to push forward that men are schmucks and women are righteous, women are the great ones. If things go wrong, it's a man's fault. If um, a woman behaves badly, it's men's fault. Because men started it, men caused it. And this, this is what causes some of the fuel for the red pill rage, you see, because that simply isn't true. My opinion as a Christian man is that both men and women have a sin nature. We all sin, we all fall down. Um, women are not more righteous than men. I think one of the problems is, is because men are physically stronger than women and have the apparatus to do more harm than women do, then that's the reason why they're they appear more unrighteous in society. You see, I'm not saying that, that, that women are the weaker sex, I'm saying that women are weaker uh, physically than men. Physical strength is oftentimes used as a great uh, leverage to sin, to sin against other people. You know, the stronger physically you are, the more physical damage. If you've got the same apparatus as a man, you can do more sexual damage. Um, so I think this obviously makes men appear more unrighteous, when in reality, they're not more unrighteous than women. You know, women are not any more righteous than men. They're really not. You know, when we get these uh, songs, um, a new song has come out from Ariane de Grande, uh, calling, saying God is the woman. Now, I do understand that this song is not necessarily on the surface saying God is a woman. She's sort of saying, well, when you've been to bed with me and had sex with me, you'll think I'm a god. Now, if that isn't narcissistical enough, you know, as the main reason for the song, often this, these songs are like the layers of an onion. So that's the top layer. And the, the layer underneath that is that uh, women should be treated like gods uh, by men, and that men are schmucks. Men should have a low self-esteem, women should have a high self-esteem. And often it's with this current trend that if women are to be empowered, men must then therefore be disempowered. In order for women to feel great, men must feel low. And that is the societal thing that's going on at the moment. It goes on in a lot of films. You know, in a lot of films like Star Wars and other films, the modern films, the women is, is the hero, which is fine. Um, but the, in order for the women, the woman to be the hero, the men must come down and be the schmucks and the wimps and the muppets. You see what I mean? And this is what angers a lot of people and why they might turn to MGTOW. I'm not saying that in that that MGTOW is right, okay, I as a Christian can't also be a MGTOW because I need to go God's way, not my own way. But it doesn't mean that I don't think people who are MGTOW have points in their philosophy and in, in what they're doing. I do think, I do believe, MGTOW has done certain things for men which are good. I think that's, and I don't, I don't know, I haven't got evidence of this, but I do believe that the MGTOW movement has brought the rate of suicide for men down from four times as much as women to three. And the reason why I believe that is because men now have a platform, instead of keeping it all inside, they have a platform to uh, uh, to boot for their emotions. Now, I would rather have men moaning and complaining and hating on women than going and, and, and putting a rope around their neck and committing suicide. I'd rather they didn't do either. But if we're going to have a choice between men whining and complaining about women or putting a noose around their neck and committing suicide, I'd rather the, the former than the latter. You understand what I'm saying here? You know, at the end of the day, that I do believe that MGTOW has dented, put a dent in the suicide rate for men. I also think MGTOW has made it okay for men to be single. It really is fundamentally okay for men to be single their whole life and not have a relationship with them. It's fundamentally fine. Okay? It is perfectly okay. It's also perfectly okay to have a relationship with a woman, get married, have children. That's perfectly okay as well. Whatever you want to do, whether you want to get married or not get married, is perfectly okay. But the thing is, society has been preaching that actually, if you're not married, if you don't have a girlfriend, you're inadequate. Okay? Notice I don't say that about women. It's only men. If a man doesn't have a girlfriend, or doesn't have a fiancé, or doesn't have a marriage partner, or haven't had much sexual experience, maybe they're a virgin, they're inadequate. They're, that's how society views them. But MGTOW's coming in and saying, well, that shouldn't be the case. And the thing is, I like that about MGTOW. I like the fact that MGTOW's saying, it's okay to be single. 
it's okay to not have anything to do with the woman in that respect. Okay, that is perfectly fine. I think a real man should be a man who's able to control and bring up under his power his sexual desires. Okay, and I do believe it's possible for a man to do that. Society will say it's not. Because society will bombard people with sexual images all the time. You know, of Ariana Grande sitting on top of the world, sultry looking. You know, and, and all the minions of men down at her feet. You know, uh, we've got to worship women. We've got to bow the knee to women. Women are God. We're just schmucks. You know, and I think that that tends to make me angry. Yeah? And uh, I think MGTOW have a point when they pick up on these, these sort of things. Um, as being so. I think a lot of men get into relationships with women when they don't even love the women. They're getting into relationships to have the children maybe and then they end up worshipping the women in the relationship. The women end up wearing the trousers, you know, and all that sort of thing. We're, the men are expected to submit to the women but the women aren't expected to submit to the men and so on and so forth. And, we, and men just end up having a hell of a time in these relationships. It really is hell on earth for them. You know, they, they're constantly abused and pushed uh, around and it's not accepted. I'm not saying all relationships with women are like this. There's quite a few good marriages that go on and, um, you know, there are women that are, are perfectly fine. There's no issues with them. And if you're a woman watching this and you've got a good character, and, then obviously I don't, I'm not talking about you. I do think when MGTOW say all women, I don't believe think they are saying all women. They're saying women in general. In other words, women in general in this modern society are narcissistic and self-entitled. I don't quite agree, agree with most or women in general, but I do think that some women have become like that and more women in the last 20 years have become self-entitled and narcissistic than ever before. Demanding, demanding, demanding from men, forgetting that men built the site skyscrapers, the buildings, the bridges and everything that we, we live in, it's all taken for granted. And now women live in this world, these women I'm talking about, live in this world and they're stepping all over men. And it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable really at all. So, um, yes, whilst I, I'm not a MGTOW, I'm not somebody who's just going to bash and hate on MGTOW people and say, oh, MGTOWs are this and that and they're, they're, they're just the scum of society and all this sort of jazz. You know, I'm not going to turn around and say that. Okay, thank you for watching.